But Lindgren, um, you know, we obviously we heard that he kind of did work on his own. Mm -hmm. We saw him practice Friday. He said he was feeling good. I mean, is it just kind of a slow moving thing? It's the plan that they did. I mean, today he didn't skate. He just did an off ice workout, and that's what the, the training staff had for, had him playing. So, you know, he's getting better. He's getting closer, but he's still day to day. So we're not going to watch him at this point. Yeah, I guess that's kind of no. the main concern is you want him you want him healthy when it, yeah. know, later on. Yeah, he that's the key thing. No, he's not playing tonight. So it, no. uh, is, is any part of that, Gerard, have anything to do with way like maybe Nico's playing with, you know? There's nothing to do with anybody playing, no. No, if he, and he's ready, he's going to play, but we're going to make sure he's ready. Well, speaking of Nico, I mean, what have you seen from him now? He's, he's playing mm. up there and stepping up into that role. I mean, I, I know that he was not supposed to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, when we got him, we knew we had got a good hockey player. I mean, he's a different type of player than Lindy, but he's played excellent for us. We're real happy with his, the way he's playing. And, again, sometimes you don't – injuries get, put guys in different roles, and he's went up there and succeeded and played really good. So it's good to know that and uh, the way he's played. But he's been good since day one, real happy with him. Is he every, I mean, like you, you had said when you first got here that you'd seen him. And is he everything you thought, or is he more physical than you realized – no, he's pretty much what I thought. I mean, I've seen him play for a couple of years in St. Louis and when we played against him and when you watch games at night. and No, he's, he's exactly what we thought we got. His reach is pretty wild. Yeah, big reach and a big guy. He's a good kid. He comes to play every night and he's, he's low maintenance. So. I got kind of an offbeat question. Hmm. What has it been like working with Benny Allaire? What have you noticed about the way that he works with the goaltenders, just your impressions and comparisons? Yeah, I didn't know Benny real well, but he's been great. I mean, uh, obviously the goaltenders that he had here in the past has had a lot of success, and that's a lot to do with him. And, you know, he does a good job, and he's an easy guy going. He's fun to work with, relaxed, uh, lots of laughs and giggles with him. But, uh, no, he's he's fun. He's a good man. And like I said, I didn't know him real well before this. and But he's obviously done a hell of a job here with the goaltending over the last number of years. You get the impression that they really respond to him. Yeah, they respect him a lot. And like you said, when you work with the type of goaltenders he had, Lundqvist and now Shasky and, you know, all the other goalies he's had in the past. So done a good job. And, uh, you know, you, you, when things work, you can stay with that. Benny works hard and shows him the video and what he, how he wants him to play stuff. And I think they appreciate that. That was probably an easy one for you when you were putting the coaching staff together. Oh, he was here before me. <laughs> yeah, he. I had nothing to do with Benny. <laughs> do you think there's any element recently, especially as you're trying to figure out all the new moving parts and stuff, like instead of the team playing fast, which I know you always want them to do it, mm -hmm. are you thinking a little too much right now maybe sometimes? No, I mean, like I said, we haven't played our best hockey. It's coming. We're still doing okay. I mean. I don't know. I look back and what the last six or seven games, I'm four, two, and one. So it's not all that bad, you know. But I know we can play better. So, and it's like you said, I've been adjusting the lines a lot, and hopefully we'll find the right mix and we'll see where it goes. Yeah. But I mean, I know one thing: there's a lot of good forwards in that mix, and whenever we settle what the the lines are going to be settled with, and let's go out there and play and work hard. There's a lot of skill, a lot of talent to work with. A few less overtime would be nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a few less overtime would be nice. <laughs> as long as you win them all. <laughs> Two out of three. Not to, you know, go too far down that road, but would you like to see Kane sort of play with Mika too and see what he looks like with everybody? I don't care where he plays. I don't care where they play. Honestly, it's just about playing good and fitting in with the right group and that. And like I said, Kane's a great player. Mika's a great player. Vladdy's a great player. We got a lot of good hockey players, a lot of talent. Kids are good hockey players, so fit in, mix in, you know, get to know your teammates and, uh, and go play. How encouraging has Igor's last couple of games been? Been great, yeah. Been real good, and he feels good about it. And uh, I mean, that Buffalo game, like I talked about, he, he made some huge saves to get us that uh, chance to win that hockey game, and that was big. All right. Will he play tonight? Will he play Yeah, tonight? yeah.